Okay, so um, we are going to uh, start learning about the somatosensory pathway. Now, somatosensory pathway simply means um, sensations coming from the body going to um, through the spinal cord um, to the brain or really just the central nervous system. Um, what we will be concentrating on is the fact that for somatosensation sensation to take place, we have um, the sensory receptors, okay, and then from the sensory receptors, we then go to the spinal cord. So we'll appreciate what is happening in the spinal cord. First of all, what is the spinal cord? Uh, we'll look at a brief uh, anatomy, okay? And then we'll try to understand uh, the segmental function. In understanding this, we will look at how um, these fibers move along, okay? So how do these fibers move along uh, the spinal cord? And since we are talking about sensation, we are talking about from the body to uh, the central nervous system. So it is fibers to um, the CNS. And then, of course, finally, we will be looking at the central nervous system in perspective, we'll be looking at perception. So it's still perception? Perception. Uh, okay. Um, perception. <laughs> All right. So um, we did have a lesson on the sensory receptors, so I'll just do a recap of um, what I want you to pick out from what you learned. First of all, what is um, sensory receptor? So these are simply uh, transducers, okay? So they are transducers. Uh, these will convert. They'll convert external energy. Uh, to an energy that the body can understand. Uh, so we are looking to about we are talking about neuron language, and when we talk about neuron language, we're really talking about action potential. So we're looking at uh, parts of your body that are able to uh, get stimulated. Upon stimulation, they will initiate an action potential, and this action potential will then go through to the spinal cord and even reach uh, the brain areas for perception. Um, the other thing that I want you to know is that the receptors uh, may be, um, so if this is um, the body, you will find that the receptors themselves might be part of a neuron. So we might have a neuron um, that will then go to the central nervous system. In particular, it will synapse in the spinal cord and then uh, we'll have it go up or we'll have it ascend. Um, you did learn about this. These are known as sensory uh, neurons. Now, sensory neurons of course, we have this sensory component, which is what we are calling the sensory receptors. And then you have uh, your body here, your soma, and then you have it synapsing. Now, uh, it's not all the time that they are like these. You will find that in some instances, uh, these receptors will have a specialized body, okay? So you have a body, this is uh, the body, okay? You have a specialized body, 
okay? It's on its own. And on this body, you have the sensory neuron synapse. So it has uh, two components uh, that synapse. One synapse is on the spinal cord, and another one on this um, sensory uh, receptor organ. So once an uh, action potential is initiated, it will be, um, it will flow through to the sensory neuron, and of course we have the soma and the sensory neuron, which has uh, two parts. So the part that goes to the spinal cord is known as the central part, okay? And the one that goes to the body or to the or receptor organism as a peripheral. Okay, so uh, this then will take the action potentials this way, all right? So you have initiation, and then it will propagate the action potentials into um, the sensory neuron, which will then uh, go to the spinal cord and then will continue with the ascension um, to the brain area. Um, what else do I need you to know? Um, I'll just clean this up. Uh, the other thing that I want you to remember from your classes is the fact that we have various forms of energy that can be converted uh, by these receptors. And when we talk about energy, we are really talking about um, mechanical. So in mechanical, we'll talk about things such as extension. And then we also have um, temperature. So in temperature, we are talking about hot cord. And then we have nociception. So nociception uh, will allude to uh, pain, pain perception. Then we also have others such as chemical. Uh, these, we talk about them really when it comes to special senses, especially such as smell, uh, not only smell, but as well as taste. Then we have others that uh, include electromagnetic. We have several other types of uh, uh, sensations, but that are not typically somatic sensations. These are special senses. So we're talking about uh, things like sound or light. Those are uh, known as special senses. Um, but the idea of this is that they transmit impulses uh, from the receptor uh, through the fibers, terminating in um, the spinal cord that would then have the ascending component to specific points of the central nervous system. Um, if you can go back to your sensory organ classifications, you will notice that um, you have mechanoreceptors uh, that have been uh, classified. So you need to know these, you need to know the, uh, the receptors such as the Meissner's Kokaskos and the Mikkel's uh, review these. Also review the uh, Ruffini's, the Fasinian, all those, um, they respond to vibrations, extension, and forms of mechanical uh, uh, stimuli. Uh, so when we talk about the spinal cord, what is it? So the spinal cord is cylindrical and it has nerves that run through it. 